That is incredible. Oh, hey, I didn't see you guys come in there. Just reading about this, uh, Leonardo da Vinci. You know, it sounds like this guy is best known for his art, but his accomplishments, they don't stop there. No, no, not at all. Architecture, literature, science, music, math, engineering, anatomy, astronomy, paleontology, and inventing. Man, it sounds like this guy was a true renaissance man. Born Leonardo de Saint Pierre da Vinci in 1452, son of Piero of the Vinci region of Florence, Italy, died in France in 1519. Leonardo is recognized as one of the premier artists of the High Renaissance, achieving great fame in both his time and ours. While Leonardo is often thought of first as an artist, he was so much more. As evident from his thousands of sketches from his notebooks, Leonardo studied many different sciences and at different points in his life created war machines for different militaries. This guy sounds like a real life Tony Stark. Leonardo's notebooks containing thousands of sketches and notes show evidence of the man's true genius centuries beyond his peers at the time. This mass of knowledge allowed Leonardo to intertwine art with just about any field he could imagine. His in-depth insights into the field of optics ever present in many of his paintings through the techniques that he demonstrates like Strumatu, Chiriascaro, and Atmospheric Perspective. That's a great example of the true importance of art. Sumato, if you remember from class, is that kind of smoky, hazy, almost out of focus look. Chiriascaro we also talked about in class. It was that strong contrast of light and dark. What I need you to do for your project, you're going to start by thinking about an issue or a problem that you face in your everyday life or in the world in general. You're going to create an invention or improve an existing tool or machine to help fix that issue. To help you develop this idea, you're going to do at least four thumbnail sketches. This will help show your thinking process. The issue or problem that I identified was what do I do with my glass of water when I'm sitting on the couch? End table wouldn't work. I have a sectional. That would be too far away. I have an ottoman, so can't use a coffee table. Sitting it on the floor, on the couch, or on the ottoman has a high risk of it getting knocked over. So I had the idea of a drone. I did some quick thumbnail sketches to help figure out what my flying drone table would look like. After I had the thumbnails all worked out, I started to sketch out my final design. I drew schematics that included views from different angles. Once you've done your four practice thumbnail sketches and you have a good solid idea, you'll create a final drawing of it. As I continued to develop my idea, I added details and notes about how it is assembled, how it functions, and even what kind of materials it's made out of. Here, I'm adding arrows to help indicate airflow patterns underneath the housing unit. And there we go, a hover table for beverages and snacks. On that same page as your final drawing, you're gonna answer several questions. What issue or issues do you see and wanna fix? What, if any, tools or machines are already being used to address this issue or problem? And how do your ideas fix or improve on the problem? Don't forget to include 
any additional instructions or information on how your machine works or would be built. And don't forget to write in complete sentences. If you really want to challenge yourself, try mirrored writing, like Leo. I look forward to seeing your designs! You can upload your finished project to my teacher folder on Schoology.